Hi, saints of God. It is Tish Angelish. Um, so I'm just coming to you guys to let you guys know. Um, yesterday, I found my children's father, my twin's father, ex-husband, unconscious. Well, he was more so incoherent. And anyway, um, I prayed the prayer of faith, you know, immediately. And the Lord restored his life. Um, I didn't realize it, but he was actually in a coma state when I prayed for him. And um, he texted me last night after he, you know, was in the hospital. Thank you for saving my life. I don't know who told him what, but everybody was walking and none of his workers were, you know, nobody was paying attention to him. And um, he was just face down with arms and everything on his knees, just not responding. And I'm going back in the board to tell the children from inside the house to my car to try to get the kids to come on with me of course they're playing their games and they didn't want to stop doing what they were doing but um sister cadence from the hoopers channel had told me that she saw me stretch over him three times and god and pray for him and that god had restored you know his body just like the prophet um and the woman at zarephath with the uh the son the prophet uh, yeah elijah with the son that uh, the widow woman's son that needed a healing so um the lord did give him uh, his life back and i just thank god for that i don't think that he's really giving his heart to god well he's not giving his heart to god as of as of now he's not taking none of this serious his white and red blood cells are all messed up or something's going on with that and for people that have gone through cancer treatments, it sends them into a coma state when this happens. So he told me just about two months ago he was given a year to live. But, you know, Sister Cadence had told me that word way before that. And I, I told her it was confirmation to things that God had been showing me, even recent things. And from years past, I've, I've told you guys on this channel, you know, plenty of times about some of the dreams and visions that I have seen. So... My children saw the whole thing. They were screaming and hollering and crying. And, you know, just please keep my twins and myself. Please keep us in your prayers. Thank you all. The new subscribers and the old ones, you know, just thank you all. You know, we're family. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I can't make someone want to serve the Lord. And I, I told him, I said, you know, it's God that gave you your life back, you know, when I prayed for you. The hospital wanted him to stay and get tests and all this stuff done. And he didn't want to do it. And he just left. You know, he just, he's not taking it serious. He's not really giving God the praise right now. So if you guys could pray please do if you can if you would like to and I'll keep you guys in prayer I pray for you guys I actually really do pray for all of you okay I love you all in Jesus Christ's name you know I didn't say I command healing or anything like that um the Lord just took over and I started speaking in tongues that's how I went down and I was like oh you're not about to die on me and then I just started speaking in tongues you know I was just going over there to pick up my children because we had gone to church I took them to church and then normally after church it was a high anointed service we had a visiting prophet at my church calvary christian center in ormond and um god really moved yeah so it was like an extended service anyways um i took them over there after church and that's what happened when i went back over there to pick them up all right guys the kids saw everything they were very distraught please keep the twins and you know in prayer and pray that their father Jamel gives his heart to the Lord amen